Well, it's not winter just yet, but ski season is right around the corner. Sunday River announcing today that it plans to open for the season this Tuesday. The resort will host New England pass holders, icon pass holders and ticket packs on Tuesday. Then daily lift tickets will be accepted for skiers and snowboarders on Wednesday. Sugarloaf is also planning to open this Friday and it won't be long until all ski areas in Maine follow suit. Jason, I know you had the Thanksgiving countdown clock and speaking to the folks at Sunday River and Sugarloaf, their target is to open before Thanksgiving. So we, we hit that milestone here. And then we're going to warm up this week, which is, right. you know, of course, open up the ski situation and then the temperature goes up. Luckily, it's been cold this week, so they're able to blow some snow, oh, yeah. but we'll see. <laughs> Plenty cold, Sam, <laughs> yeah. to, to do the snow thing lately. Uh, today, barely got to 40. In Augusta tonight, 26 degrees, clear and cold. Yes, not a warm one. The heat cranking for sure. And into the day tomorrow, we'll get there in a second. First, let's do tonight. North breeze, high pressure comes in from the west. It's going to crest and settle right on top of us tonight. So the wind will die down. We'll get good radiational cooling. I expect teens for lows up north. And then into your Monday, waking up to widespread 20s and low 30s. A little bit milder at the coastal plant, if you can call 30 mild in Wiscasset. Now, on Monday, a lot of sunshine, high pressure right on top of us, but that high is going to be moving east. That's going to allow clouds to come in. So Monday evening, after the rush hour commute, here's precip. Snow, Oxford Hills, back to the western mountains, New Hampshire, Coas County. Here's a little bit of rain mixing in right along the immediate coastal plain of Route 195, 7 o'clock. And this is a weak little burst of some energy. It is gone by Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock, except around Bar Harbor, Penobscot Bay Area, Blue Hill. And then that's going to just move out of here. So by Tuesday, middle of the day and evening time, sun to stars quickly. So 30s and 40s. So you're not going to see a lot of snow here. Maybe an inch in Bangor, maybe an inch Wiscasset, maybe an inch in Rangeley. That's pretty much it. I could see, you know, Western mountains can get a one to one and a half, but that's pretty much it. The next big storm that's going to come through or the potential for one is going to be as we get high pressure this week. It's going to warm us up around the high. And then here's the storm next Friday to Saturday as that moves in. Whether or not that's rain or snow remains to be seen. I'll be doing a special update on that tonight on YouTube because it's a kind of a situation to explain the possibilities. Seas at two feet, wind north going to southwest tomorrow. Uh, I can tell you, rain and snow, late p.m. So the majority of tomorrow is clear until around 6, 7 o'clock. Tuesday a.m., kind of light rain and snow, gone. And then Wednesday, sun and clouds. So I said warm up. Well, I mean, we have to wait until Thursday to see 50 again. And then here comes that either rain or snow. Once again, there's a lot up in the air with this potential system for Friday or Saturday. I can tell you that you've got 40s for a few more days. Great for open up to do some skiing and then 50s are here. Nothing crazy warm is coming our way in the next seven days, but definitely a little bit above what you typically see. We're getting a little bit of a winter preview here, which no one really complains about. Jason, it's funny. It's this time of year when people are going to be rooting for snow versus rain. And then in like three months, be like, no more snow. Yeah, we're, it, it we're is, back in the cycle. It, I can't wait for the season. All right, Jason.